live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering NAB 2017. Brought to you by HGST. Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Jeff Frick and you're watching theCUBE. We're at NAB 2017, uh, 100,000 people, Las Vegas Convention Center, the place is packed from top to bottom, three halls, two floors. Hopefully you can find theCUBE if you're looking to find us. It's hard to find a lot of people here. We're excited to be joined by, I think the best title of anyone that we've had on the show over the last couple of days. It's all about content, but to, at the end of the day, you got to have content creators. And we've got one here, Lucas Gilman, listed as adventure photographer, filmmaker, and G Technology G Team Ambassador. Lucas, great, uh, great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about your company. I know you're independent photographer, videographer, some of the work that you do, some of the, uh, the stuff yeah. that keeps you busy from yeah, Mondays, sure. uh, Monday nine to five. Exactly, so a small production film, uh, film production company. Uh, we also do stills, so it's sort of a, a one-stop shop for a lot of, a lot of brands that I work with uh, that we're basically trying to service everything from uh, still images for advertising purposes and commercial purposes to video uh, for commercials, advertisements, and or stock use. So as you look around, the, 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 the ways that you can now capture imagery, I'll just say is a more generic term, mm -hmm. with 360 cameras and drones and regular photography and GoPros and all this different stuff. I mean, what a palette of tools that you have to work with. It's, it's amazing how the technology has really changed. Uh, I, I remember that when I first started out in photography and digital photography, we would have 16 megabyte cards. And now, you know, I'm using SanDisk cards that are 256 gigabytes. And the, and the one the, T's are coming. Yeah, I keep exactly. seeing the one terabytes I mean, are I'm coming. I'm excited to get some of those. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, it's crazy that sensor technology is, keeps getting better, uh, more pixels, more data, uh, which really throws another sort of a monkey wrench into the, your, your, your solution because the cameras are getting higher capacity every year. I mean, we just shot a project in Iceland uh, with a red 8K helium camera. That's you know, a 36 megapixel still camera, essentially, that's shooting 24 frames or 30 frames per second of data. So we're talking, uh, we shot 24 terabytes in a week. <laughs> 24 terabytes in a week? In a week. Yeah, so it definitely adds a whole other layer of, of complexity now yeah. because now you can shoot so much, mm -hmm. you can shoot at such high res. Now you got to capture that stuff, you got to store it, you got to manage it. And, uh, so and back it up. I and mean, back it up. Because, I mean, it's, it's digital, right? It's ones and zeros. And once those are gone, they're gone forever. So, you know, uh, my typical strategy is to have everything in three places. It's kind of the, you know, the rule. Um, two, uh, usually in the office, you know, we have a primary copy and then a copy that doesn't ever go anywhere, and then we also have one off-site, so in the unexpected event of a fire, flood, tornado, or you know, getting you know, robbed or something like that, you still have those assets available. Right, right, so I assume that's how you got involved with uh, Wichi technology to begin yeah, with. Yeah, it really started with, uh, when I was, was younger, I had an unfortunate incident where Brand X had a failure, and I went out and I found these G-Drive Minis, which were amazing, I'd buy three of them per trip, and I reached out to them and uh, sort of told them the story, and they, they had this, uh, this team that they're putting together, and I was fortunate enough to be asked to be a part of that, that team. Okay, so what's the mission of the team? What is, what is a G-Team uh, ambassador? The G-Team ambassadors are basically uh, what, they've picked people in, in different disciplines, whether you're a wedding photographer or a filmmaker, and they basically pick people that are, you know, hopefully the best at what they do, um, because as, as a, you know, as a photographer and filmmaker, I'm out in the public a lot, and people ask me, what kind of camera should I buy? What kind of hard drive should I buy? So our, our mission is to, to go out and educate people on not only the, the products that we use in our workflow that we use to, when we, we, we rely on for our livelihood, right. but to really you know, educate people and say, hey, you know, I know you may never be shooting the Tour de France or going to Iceland and shooting expedition, but this is how you could back up your images from your, your wedding or your, 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 you know, your kid's soccer game or something right, like right. that. So, with sort of a educational role as well as hopefully a little bit of inspiration as well. Right, and, and, and what it comes down to, you mentioned that you used another product that, that failed mm -hmm. you. It's like, like the old days when you forget to save your, your, word, your word document, right? It yeah, only happens once. Exactly, it happens <laughs> once, and then you, it, it's, it's a very painful experience. Right, right. So, so, I mean, is it just reliability? Is, it, is there something else in, in these uh, G drives that, that you yeah, like? So, I mean, Obviously, reliability is A number one, but is there more totally. to it so than that? I was really drawn to the G technology because they're really the only ones, or were the only ones, that were putting enterprise class hard drives into enclosures. 
Uh, and you know, people say, well, what's the difference? And to me, you're getting a professional product. It's something that's going to it's going to last longer. It's meant to be put in, in an enclosure in a in a raid array, uh, because you know, like I said, everything needs to be backed up. And you know, once it's gone, it's gone. And you know, I there's a face it. There's a lot of people that want to be photographers these days, and filmmakers. And I can't go to a client and say, oh, it didn't work out. You know, <laughs> there's there's no take two, no second chance. You know, and so. You know, I really, it is the backbone of my business is, is that, that because I'm, you know, whether, um, you know, you're a restaurant or a photographer, you are providing a product or a service, right. and if it doesn't work out for somebody, they're not going to come back. Right, and it's so easy to go to the alternative. Mm -hmm. Now, what about cloud? Is cloud part of your workflow? It, it is, you know, I'm getting more and more into it, um, using different uh, resources, um, but I don't rely on the cloud as my primary backup. It's, it's a way that's convenient for me to get images to clients or video clips or, finished products because then it's, I'm not shipping a drive across the country via FedEx or whatever. So it's, it's, a, it's another tool in the arsenal. I don't rely on it exclusively, but I feel like it is a, an important and powerful tool to be able right. to you know, distribute assets and make it more, in, in the end of the day, make it more convenient for everybody involved. Right, because so what would you say, 24 terabytes 24 in Iceland? 24 terabytes. What was the coolest part of that trip? Ice caves. Ice caves. We went into these caves that literally like have streams coming out them that the ice they were saying is like 10,000 years old, and you, you're like the first person to touch this ice. It's really, really crazy. And how many people on that shoot? Uh, we had six people. So we had a professional athlete, a surfer. We always, I typically shoot uh, adventure sports and travel, so we brought a professional surfer. We had a Moby operator, uh, camera operator, and a, and a grip, an assistant right. to help out. And then, it just I'm just curious your point of view, right? Even in, in uh, commercials and, and advertisements and stuff, still the story narrative, right, has got to be part of the part yeah. of the equation. It's got, that's what pulls everything story, together. Story is king, and the second part of that is the quality of the production has to be there. Like, whether it's the video quality, the content, and or the sound, all those things are integral keys to being successful. So do you find, it, I just, you know, there's so many toys here. It's like toy heaven mm -hmm. um, for production people. Is it, is it, is it easy to get distracted from the storytelling because of all the toys? How, how do you, you know, begin to integrate and experiment with, with drone it's, footage or gimbal footage or you know, some of these other tools and yet to kind of stay true to a beautiful narrative that someone's going to be interested in consuming? Well, it goes back to that you know, thing we were all taught, KISS, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Um, you know, I, I love, we, we use drones, we, use, uh, we shoot in the water, we, do all, we use all these tools. But the minute that that tool becomes, you know, so heavy that it, it, it takes away from being able to tell that story, um, that's when we've got to be careful because you can get sucked into, you know, trying to do a steady cam shot or a movie shot all day and all of a sudden you've wasted a whole day if something's not working. So, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be consistent about what the vision is and your storyboard is because, yeah, walking around the halls here, there's like, you know, there's a helicopter you can ride in now all of a sudden. It's like a mini drone. Right, right. And, and you're like, it's a, I do feel like a kid in a candy store, but it's like you need to make sure that you're not getting so focused on the technology that you're not, you know, focusing on that storyline because that's what really clients will come back for us because as a creative, you know, anybody can go out and, you know, automate things and make, you know, drone shots and this and that, but it's that story that really ties it all together. Right, and I think it's just really interesting how your photography background, you know, morphed really into multimedia, right? Mm -hmm. Which includes video and, and all the permutations that there are. I saw a cool thing where I guess you can you can unwrap the 360, so now you get this new kind of artistic mm -hmm. kind of ball impression. So I mean, the, the, the options are so huge for you right now. Yeah, it's, it's really, you know, the sky's the limit. And it's, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a professional, I need to make sure that I'm I'm staying up with technology because really, like the technology is so accessible now, uh, from you know people taking images with their cameras and or videos. I need to make sure that I'm setting myself apart from from that, you know, demographic be, by doing something as a professional that is something that they can't offer. Right. All right. I'll, get, I'll let you get a plug in so we can go in and see the Iceland footage. Where should people go to uh, take a look uh, at so some of your work? So they should go to uh, gtechnology.com. They'll, they'll be. Uh, that Iceland, and there'll also be some workflow uh, involved in that video, so that people might actually, you know, learn something about what they might do to back up their images and/or videos. All right, Lucas. Well, hopefully, uh, maybe you got an extra room for a gopher or something <laughs> on your next trip. I can come help schlep pelicans Always. for you. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Lucas awesome. Gilman. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thanks for having me. He's Lucas Gilman. I'm Jeff Rick. You're watching the Cube. We're talking about G Tech and really cool movie making, media making. It's all about media. 
uh, and technology here at NAB 2017. Thanks for watching.